Hello from the northeast corner of the USA and welcome to Lake Placid in New York State. It'll be our stunning backdrop for the next 10 days of sporting drama and endeavour. And wherever you're watching around the world, a warm welcome to you from me, Alec Wilkinson. And I can promise you the next 90 minutes will be a real celebration of winter, of nature and of course of winter sports. Well, we're at the Lake Placid Olympic Centre. You can feel the sporting history here. It's hosted two Olympic Games, including that legendary ice hockey match between the USA and the Soviet Union at the 1980 Olympics. Uh, more on that later. Well, at these university games, the arena will host the ice hockey, figure skating and short track speed skating as well. And the lights are dimmed and we're ready to begin the opening section of the ceremony will remind us all of the connection to nature and winter that the Native American people have always felt about their land. International University Sports Federation World University Games. Tonight, we celebrate our athletes, the legacy of the games, and the rich history of Lake Placid. Please welcome representatives of the Oneida Indian Nation, the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe, and Bear Fox as they honor the heritage of this very special area. Sokoli, Seego, Chelsea New Gods. Jako Dixalot Slugwa, Yokolawado Gani Waxano, the Uncle Hone, Onya the Agani Wakunjot, Wakwaho no e ni Negitolot, Watek Wanohelado, Wat Wanohelado, Zewakwego, Wahodo Gani, Olehovana, Neka Ika Wani Salade. Hello. Greetings. My name is Chelsea Jocko. Her ways are reliable is my Oneida name. I'm Oneida Nation Wolf Clan. We thank and greet you all for this is a truly a special day. Are you telling ho one of the ne la nungwe ho go lotino shuni ji no ne ganto o hon olivagayo o honjake we diat the loloke nain akta no lake placid. We acknowledge the Honi Rishoni people on whose traditional lands where we gather near Lake Placid. Dayitino hala do ne gayele ne gwelage yu keni sta a o hwanja kale ji niole hawana ne ka ika o hwanja ge ji na de de sungwa wi ne sungwa ya dizu. We appreciate the four winds, our Mother Earth, and the importance of this land to our people from our Creator. Dahno ayi tili ho wanate ne agwe gu la nungwe ho we ne kanu no ji no ne kant ta ko ta na hela do ne tuanis la dekwe kalle an tuanis la deke lua di nun ha ne onega su a o honde su a kalle gundilio ne ka ika o honjak. We also acknowledge 
all the indigenous people of New York, thank you for your past, present caretakers of the waters, plants, and animals of this region. Nanaji Awadu Skana and Dona Donia Hege Nangwa Nigolaku, a Dane To Nigawanak. So let it be that we'll be thinking of peace in our minds. So let it be these words. To. Um, my Mohawk name is Gankyo Kokta, and I'm of the Wolf Clan. And my nickname is Bear Fox. It's good to be here with all of you. And I brought my granddaughter. Her name's Yagotezela Luño, or Naira is her English name. And we're going to sing a song giving thanks to everything in our creation. It's called the Ohando Kaleotekwa Kalana. And there's a chorus in the song, we all say, Kwa Yoyanale, where we're gonna sing it four times and then eight times at the end. And I'd like to invite everyone to help put our minds together as one. And it will be an agreement that everything in our creation is beautiful. <clears throat> Quayo Yanale, Quayo Yanale, Quayo Yanale, Quayo Yanale, Teatino Alatos Neo Wesson Art, Teatino Alatos Yekesta Oja, Teatino Alatos Neo Sung 
Wachi akyo kane kagala akwa Yeti sota asota ne kagala akwa Te yeti no ala dos ne ochista no kwaso a Tunya do hak ne wani kula representatives from the Oneida Indian Nation, the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe, and Bear Fox for the beautiful ancestral welcome, land acknowledgement, and traditional greeting. Dancers are out, and that means it's time to meet the stars of the show. The athletes that have come from around the world to challenge themselves across 12 winter sports. The dancers, by the way, from the Joffrey Ballet School, they're all aged 17 to 25, and we'll be seeing plenty of them over the next hour or so. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, please welcome the athletes of the Lake Placid 2023 FISU World University Games. Yep, here they come. And over the next 40 minutes, around 1,400 young athletes are going to be parading around this ice rink. Argentina. This is Argentina's World Winter University Games. Argentina's flag bearer is Franco Del Farra from uh, cross country skiing, representing the University of Rio Negro. And the reason they've chosen him as a flag bearer is because he does an incredible job of juggling his sport with his studies and does Armenia. a lot to encourage his fellow student athletes. This is well. Armenia's largest ever athlete contingent at Afisu Winter World Games with two women and four men. Artur Drustev from uh, figure skating is carrying their flag. He's one of the best figure skaters of Armenia. This is his first World University Games. And I'm sure he'll be feeling the nerves as he comes out. He sees this stadium full of uh, sports fans and families that have come from all around the world to support their... Australia! Danny Carr won Australia's first and, uh, Visu Games Sons and Daughters. Daughters. In 1985 in Belluno, Italy, with a gold and silver in short track speed skating. And Australia, represented by 25 athletes, will be competing in seven of the 12 sports here in Lake Placid. Out, the country's coming out in, in alphabetical order. 
Austria hosted the first FISU winter event and the FISU Games winter in 1968 and 2005. And they're led by Anna Petucci, a regular top three finisher in the uh, Europe Cup of speed skating. She studies law at the University of Innsbruck. A big smile from her. Proud day for all those athletes from Austria. Belgium. Belgium is a founding member and home to FISU's head office for more than 60 years. And the athlete at the front with the flag is Ellie Kempenaz, who's shown real determination recently to overcome injury and be here. It'll be her final time at the University Games. So best of luck to her in the Alpine skiing. Brazil. Brazil hosted the first FISU Games outside of Europe in 1963 in Porto Alegre. And Brazil uh, brought eight athletes. There they are. And they'll compete in curling, freestyle and ski, cross country ski, and alpine ski. Some of their coaches and uh, Federation delegates there as well. Bulgaria, the first biathlon event during a FISU World University Games was in Bulgaria. Although none of their five athletes here will actually compete in the biathlon this time. But they will be in action in four sports, including figure skating. And it's Bulgaria's top figure skater that is leading out the team. Alexandra Fagan. Represented a country at the last Winter Olympics in Beijing. So it's an old hand at the processions. most FISU Games medals in ice hockey with 16 for men and 6 for women. And they come with the third largest team here this year, 121 in total. Two flag bearers, one male, one female, it's Alexander Maycock and Caroline Beecham. Alexander is a uh, cross-country skier, 23 years old and was part of the Canadian team at the last University Games that were held in Krasnyarsk in Russia. Caroline, she's 22, captain of the Montreal Carabins, top form at the moment with a first and third in the giant slalom on Mont Treblant.
got 12 sports, 86 medal events across nine iconic venues. And those 12 sports are alpine skiing, biathlon, cross-country skiing, curling, figure skating, freestyle skiing, ice hockey, Nordic combined, short track speed skating, ski jumping, snowboarding, and speed skating. People's Republic of China. The Chengdu 2021 Fisu World University Games Summer will take place this year. From July 28th to August 8th. China being led out by Han Yu from the curling team. She's representing Beijing Sports University and represented China at the Beijing Olympics last year, as well as the Youth Olympic Games in 2016 in the mixed doubles. Chengdu, the Chengdu Summer Games um, have been postponed already a couple of times because of the pandemic. They are scheduled to go ahead though in July of this year. Croatia. Croatia has competed at all FISU Winter World University Games, but what? Since his first appearance in 1995 in Hakka, Spain. Another experienced flag bearer in Zoran Skenda. He was the flag bearer at the uh, Winter Olympics in Beijing as well last year. And he'll be competing for the University of Zagreb in the cross country skiing. Czech Republic. The Czech Ski Resort of Spindleroof Milton hosted two editions of Winter Fisu Games. 94 athletes representing the Czech Republic. Tomasz Klinski is the alpine skier that's uh, carrying the flag from the Czech Technical University in Prague, selected for his achievements in the last winter university had in 2019 in Krasnyarsk, where he earned a silver medal in the individual Super G. Now, if you're looking at the stadium thinking, well, it's half empty, well, it won't be by the end of this procession because the half that you're seeing there are spectators and the empty half will be filled with the one and a half thousand or so athletes from all around the world. Denmark, 
Denmark is seeking its first ever FISU World University Games winter medal. Both athletes are competing in alpine skiing. Just the two athletes. Christian Jensen gets the honor of flying the flag. Studies at Copenhagen Business School. Spain. The first ever FISU Winter Games mascot was born in Hakka, Spain in 1981. And we'll get to see this year's mascot in a little while at the end of the parade. Can you guess what animal it might be? Spain represented by 19 athletes across five sports. in the atmosphere beginning to build now as the ice arena begins to build and begins to fill. Estonia, since making its debut at the Muku Chanchu Games in Korea in 1997, Estonia has set 132 athletes to Winter Fisu Games. And here in Lake Placid, there are six athletes representing the country. And they'll be competing in cross-country skiing, alpine and figure skating. Finland. Finland won its most ever FISU Games winter medals in 2019 in Krasnoyarsk with 12, including three gold medals. Yeah, an impressive performance there. Can they repeat it? Well, Samuli Swamalainen is their flag bearer from Hagahelia University. He'll be competing in speed skating represented the country in speed skating world and European championships and the Youth Olympic Games as well. And he's been here, uh, he was only here um, a while back, uh, quite recently actually, the World University Championships in Lake Placid last March, where he was fourth in the 1,000 meters speed skating. Germany, France hosted the first ever FISU World University Games in winter in 1960 and won most of the medals at that event. Obviously a big alpine destination for ski fans is French Alps. And the flag bearer comes from a university very much in the foothills of those Alps, so Grenoble, Alps University, its figure skater, Maya Matza.
United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The United Kingdom has won a medal in curling at the last five FISU Winter Games. Flag bearing being shared by Josh Crane and Lisa Davey. Josh is the only returning male hockey player from the uh, GB team from the Krasny Ask FISU Winter Games in 2019. Uh, studying at Newcastle University. Lisa Davey, well, she's representing Edinburgh Napier University, the Scottish Junior Curling Champion two years uh, for two years, 2019-2022, winner of the Scottish Mixed Championship last year. So on my form, will we see another British medal in the curling here in Lake Placid? Great Britain's brought 62 athletes representing about 35 universities from Norwich to the Highlands of Scotland, from Glasgow to Portsmouth. The majority of them, no surprise here, competing in curling and ice hockey. Atmosphere here in the arena. Soaking it all in. That's the advice they're always given. Don't be too nervous. Just enjoy the moment and then you can refocus tomorrow for your sport. Germany! Germany is preparing to host its second FISU World University Games Summer in 2025 in Rhine Brewer. <laughs> 41 athletes representing Germany at these games. And the man with the flag is Jakob Neurer, the University of Würzburg, where he studies medicine. In Krasny asked for the last Visu Winter Games, he managed fifth place with the German cross country relay team. That is his sport this time round, too. its debut at the FISU Games Winter with Carlins Millay competing in cross-country skiing. There he is, good luck to the man from Haiti. Making history without even putting on his skis. Huge uh, international media interest, of course, in this event. Uh, going out live on ESPN in the United States. Live across Europe on Eurosport. There's over 100 uh, accredited domestic and international media here. Hong Kong, China. Don't forget you can watch Hong everything. Kong is after Absolutely reading everything on FISU.tv as well. Winter Games sending its largest delegation ever with six athletes. Yeah, five of those athletes are bigger skaters. Otum Chan is competing in short track speed skating. China So leading out China. Sorry, leading out Hong Kong. Figure skater carries the flag 
her biggest success has come in the Asian Open figure skating trophy where she won both bronze and silver over successive years. But remember the name because her dream is to qualify for the 2026 Hungary. Olympics. Hungary won its first medal at the Winter Fisu Games in Chamonix in 1916. Placid has hosted, it's also hosted the 1972 University Winter Games. And because of that, it becomes the first host city to host the Games twice. But that wasn't the last time that the University Games were on US soil. It was a lot more recent than that. Uh, but it was the Summer Games of 1993, which were held down the road, relatively speaking, in Buffalo. Ireland. This is Ireland's largest ever FISU Winter Games team, with three women and two men, all alpine skiers. being led out by Ellie Murphy, the alpine skier. She's competed for Ireland. Well, she first competed in 2015 as an under-16, and she's just kept going, representing Ireland three times at the Junior World Championships. Picked up a bronze in uh, the alpine combined at uh, the under-18 Junior World Championships. She's also carried the Irish flag at the European Youth Olympics. Iceland. Iceland's three-person delegation has two women this year, the most ever. represented here in Lake Placid and around about 600 universities from around the world. Italy! Italy has hosted 11 FISU World University Games, including the first ever Torino in 1959 and the upcoming Torino 2025 Games. It's a huge history, a huge pedigree, connection with the World University Games in Italy. Deeply involved in the organisation. And they're being led out by Nicolai Memola, the University of Milan. He's the youngest athlete on the Italian team, he's just 19, and is the rising star of Italian figure skating. Keep an eye out for him in the figure skating competition here at Lake Placid. He's won gold at the Junior Grand uh, pre-final on home soil uh, in Turin last month, so he is in top four. Japan. Japan is the most represented Asian country since the start of the Winter Fisu Games. They also have the second largest team here, 139 athletes who competed all the 12 sports here at Lake Placid. So a really impressive team. Keep an eye out for Japanese success in the ski jumping. 
and the figure skating. To name but two of uh, the sports that they're looking pretty strong for medals in. Kazakhstan, the Winter Misu Games in Almaty in 2017 had the most medal events for any Winter Misu Games. Yeah, it's a big team is Kazakhstan. They brought 84 athletes with them to Lake Placid. Republic of Korea. So we're halfway Korea will be hosting the Visu World University Games Summer in 2027, the fourth Visu Games in history for this country. Once again, the flag carrying is being shared. Figure skater Shiong Lee. Speed skater Min Jo Kim is the winner of last year's President's Cup. She on second last year in the highest UGP Grand Prix of France, and both have already achieved a lot in their sporting careers. The Korean team believe that they have the potential to become real stars in the future, and that is why they are carrying their national flag. tonight are definitely the hardest workers out on the ice. Latvia, Latvia has competed in every winter edition of the Visu Games since 1993.
Lithuania. Lithuania recently opened a university sports history museum in Vilnius. And now their four athletes will be looking to make their own history in figure skating and alpine skiing. And what a place to come, a place that's hosted two Winter Olympics. The 1980 Games, by the way, they're still part of the fabric of Lake Placid, of, of the town. You can't escape the memories. You know, sign posters on shop walls. Luxembourg. Ski jumps. The first PC president was from Luxembourg. One competitor representing this small, landlocked European country. Must be an extraordinary moment for her. So daunting. Matthew Rush from the IUBH International Hochschule. Mexico! Mexico hosted the summer edition of the FISU Games in 1979. Carrying the flag for Mexico, Eugenia Garza. Big smile from her. She actually studies in the uh, US at the University of Minnesota. Be one of Mexico's top figure skaters for quite a few years now. 75 athletes, the winner of these two games, since his very first participation in 1991. Yeah, and they have nine athletes here competing in four different sports. Netherlands. Netherlands is one of the founding members of FISU. Netherlands being led out by Julien de Visa, speed skater, who's already won three medals right here in Lake Placid at the World University Championships in speed skating. So, She's eager to perform and repeat a medal haul at these games. Represented South Korea up until 2018, before switching Norway. to represent Norway. Norway won eight medals during the last winter of FISU Games in 2019. Flag bearer Magnus Bow. Represented Norway internationally once before at the 2019 IBU Junior World Championships in Slovakia. Now lives in Boulder here in the US, studies civil engineering at the University of Colorado. Got a couple of years yet on his uh, master's degree. And he'll be uh, cross country skiing here in Lake Placid. Love the hands. Philippines. This will be the second time Philippines have participated in the Winter FISU Games. And this time around, their five athletes will compete in figure skating, alpine skiing, and short track speed skating. among the countries who have organized the most FISU World University Games Championships. Yeah. 
Poland being led out by Karen Kanya. And if you're into your speed skating, it's a name you'll probably know. He's represented the country at the uh, Winter Games in Beijing last year. Medalist at the European Championships and the World Cup in speed skating. Some distractions for these athletes, of course, here in Lake Placid, um, and no less Slovenia the Festival Village, the headquarters of European University Sport Association, is in Slovenia. Yeah, the event festival village is open every evening. The medal ceremonies will be there in the evening. Then there's live music, DJs doing uh, doing their sets. Loads of activities, like street food, ice sculpting, and all sorts. Be up to the coaches, there's one of them. Let's keep an eye on their athletes and uh, maintain their focus for the sport. So Slovenia being led out by Neza Zerja from the University of Ljubljana. She was selected because she's the best example of the team says the successful dual career. The first of an athlete in the studio located in Switzerland in 1949. Well, a country synonymous with winter sports and represented here by 55 athletes. The biggest contingent are competing in alpine skiing, and there are 10 cross-country skiers here too. Sophie Hedegger, the snowboarder, is the flag bearer, representing the University of Brisson. Slovakia. Slovakia has hosted three editions of the FISU Winter Games. That is the captain of the next ice hockey team, Martin Magdalene. Studies at the University of Slovakia. Team in grey, the men's team in black, of course, Slovakia. We'll move into the more serious part of the opening ceremony once we've got all the athletes seated in the grandstand. And that 
Tokyo. It's the back of the procession, filling for a half the ice cream. Sweden! Sweden hosted the first FISU World University Championships. That's Daniel Magnuson. In the sport of curling, he's only 22. He's already won an Olympic gold, three times world champion and European champion. Extraordinary pedigree. Medalist in Beijing last year. World champion the last three years running. And no one will be cheering louder than the Karlstadt Curling Club who he plays for back home. And I'm sure they'll be watching on a big screen somewhere. Thailand. In 2007, Thailand hosted the Summer Fisu World University Games in Bangkok. Yeah, not a country you'd normally associate with winter sport, but here they are. Seven athletes competing in cross-country skiing, freestyle, snowboard, alpine, and figure skating. Five more nations to go. I'll let you guess who are going to be last for the grand finale to the procession. Chinese Taipei! Chinese Taipei hosted the summer edition of the 2017 FISU Games. Turkia. Turkia hosted last year's 3x3 three three basketball and combat sports FISU World Cups. Yeah, just what the one athlete for Turkia, 20-year-old Furkan Akar from Ataturk University, will compete in short track speed skating. Wait for a big cheer for the next team that are about to step out onto the ice. Ukraine! Ukraine has won 76 medals in the Winter FISU Games since 1991. Ukraine have brought 58 athletes here. They've had a real effect on the town at the Lake Placid. Everywhere they go in those blue and yellow uniforms, they get stopped and people chat to them and ask them about what's going on. And new friendships made. Be welcomed into the arena here in Lake Placid. Like an ultimate team on the way out now. Uzbekistan. This is the fifth time Uzbekistan has participated in Winter FISU Games. Our athletes competing in three sports here, figure skating, snowboard and alpine. The 
observance amongst you might have expected his better start at last, but no. In 1972, Winter Fisu World University Games were the first in North America. And being led out by a local boy who's lived in Lake Placid all his life. Matt Ledger. Lead studies at Montana State University. So the host nation are on the ice. They're the biggest team at these games, 150 athletes, many of them from the world of ice hockey. What a place to come and compete at. But this is hallowed ice for American ice hockey. It was here that uh, we saw one of well, the most famous moments in sport, arguably the greatest match of ice hockey in Olympic history. Became known as the Miracle on Ice, and it pitched a young amateur team from the USA against an experienced, mostly professional Soviet Union during the medal run for the 1980 Winter Olympics. The Soviets, four-time defending gold medalists, heavily favoured, were beaten 4-3 by the US. And you really can't go anywhere in this town where you won't see a reference to that game. In fact, the original scoreboard from that uh, match, the, uh, the electronic scoreboard is now in the main entrance as you come into the ice arena. And memories of the 1980 Lake Placid uh, Olympics all over uh, the town. The cauldron from the game still sits at the entrance of the town. You, the first thing you see as you arrive, the old broadcast centre is now bus depot. And literally, I think everybody seems to have a signed poster by an athlete from 1980 somewhere in the house or their shop or their business. University Games, the largest multi-sport winter event on the globe after the Winter Olympics. That's an incredible stat. As well as sports, the next couple of weeks we'll also see educational and cultural events at both in Lake Placid and in nearby towns, so it's more than just a sports event. So there, there we are, our athletes' procession is complete. We just need uh, the USA to make their way up into those final seats in the grandstand. All students here aged between 17 and 25. You've got to be that age to be eligible to compete. And many of the names and faces that you have seen Please here in welcome this the technical will officials who have grown their the reputation over the next few days. Honorable competition. Glass. 
represent the, the ice. They look frosted. 800 medals they're going to be handed out. And we'll talk more about the uh, sustainable torch when we get a view of it, which will be very soon. Once the officials of all the different sports have their moment in the limelight, those dancers uh, they're leaving the ice now but uh, they'll be part of the torch relay and um, some really stunning displays towards the end of the uh, the end of the ceremony as well And now, please give it up for a very special guest, our mascot, Adirondack Mac. Here he comes. Mac is six feet tall and has a personality as big as the namesake region. In the winter, you might spot Mac skiing the slopes of Whiteface or skating at Herb Brooks Arena. He loves to hike the Adirondacks, explore Lake Placid shops, go swimming and fishing in the many local lakes and waterways. Adirondack Mac was chosen from a design contest with hundreds of submissions. We congratulate Fashion Institute of Technology sophomore Christina Ingarowski, whose design was selected. Let's hear it for Mac! I saw him doing his shopping yesterday. I was very impressed by how he strode up Main Street without tripping over himself. But now I've seen him on ice skates, I'm even more impressed. Good old Adirondack Mac. You see plenty of him over the next 10 days. And whilst we're watching the... Uh, athletes there and the moose we have a Zamboni machine just sort there it is just sorting out the ice tunnel. The moose is following him off the ice as well. Going over to say hello to uh, some of the spectators. The Brazilian team enjoying themselves. There's an ice hockey venue. There's uh, the big screen right in the centre up in the uh, now the presenting the so colors, watch the, the New York State Police Troop B So we come to the formal I'm ceremonial part of the New Olympic York. ceremony. And if you spot more than a passing similarity with the Olympic Games, it's because the University Games date Please back rise to the for the, the national anthem, century. sung by Bob Slutter, Christopher Kinney, 
who represented the United States at the Pyeongchang 2018 Olympic Winter Games. Please welcome James McKenna, president of the Lake Placid 2023 FISU World University Games Organizing Committee, and Leon Eder, acting president of the International University Sports Federation. Thank you, and welcome to Lake Placid. Welcome to the Adirondacks, and welcome to the North Country region of the great New York State. Welcome to the United States of America. Welcome to those with us tonight, and, and also the viewers that are watching across North America and the rest of the world. The partnership between Lake Placid, New York State, and FISU created a long-term legacy incentivized by these games. The modernization of the Olympic venues, Saranac Lake Civic Center, the development of a dedicated affordable housing, public infrastructure improvements, climate action, downtown revitalization, increased global recognition are just a few of the components of this legacy. Lake Placid's place on the international sports stage is secure. Thank you to FISU President Leon Elder. Thank you to CEO and Secretary Eric Sanron. And thank you to the entire FISU team for the trust and support that you have shown Lake Placid's 2023 organizing committee. It is our hope that these games will bring greater awareness and appreciation of bringing together the student athletes from across the globe as they prepare to be tomorrow's leaders. <laughs> Governor Kathy Hochul, you are a history maker and a difference maker. Your leadership and support of our bid effort five years ago positioned this region for further economic sustainability and brought us this evening's opening ceremonies of the 23 World University Winter Games. Thank you for the confidence in our determination. The games align with your goals of combating climate change, increasing affordable housing, placemaking, workforce, and economic development issues, among many other items. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thanks to Governor Hoko, New York State is back. With Governor Hochul at the helm, we are in good hands. Thank you very much, Governor, and your entire team. <laughs> Cheers to Mike Pratt, CEO of New York State's Olympic Regional Development Authority. <laughs> and to Ashley Walden, Chief Operating Officer of Lake Placid 2023 Organizing Committee. and your entire teams. You both have been steadfast in your commitment to making these games a success. Thank you very much. <laughs> Athletes, to you who support, to you and those who support all your efforts, we hope these games fill you with the joy of sport and competition as you prepare to assume your role as the next generation of global leaders. You have, you have the passion, commitment, and skills to elevate, save winter to the forefront of global climate initiatives. We call on all assembled here in person or virtual to leave Lake Placid and to team up to save winter as we celebrate excellence through winter sport and education. Thank you. Dear Governor Hochul, dear Mayor Devlin, dear members of the Lake Placid Organizing Committee and dear volunteers, dear FISU family, dear student athletes, let me turn first to you. Welcome to Lake Placid. You made it. You made it. What a magnificent stage on which to bring back together the world of university sports. This stadium and many of the venues in which you will compete over the coming 11 days are part of our universal sports heritage. Lake Placid has hosted twice the World Olympic Games. And indeed, this is the second visit of the World University Games to this city after 1972. A special city that has created both legends and legacy that endures. Legacy is a gift that also bears the weight of responsibility. It is why I am proud that Lake Placid will play host to conferences and initiatives examining the relationship between winter sports and climate change. After the harsh years of global pandemic, we finally meet here again in Lake Placid. The world's young people suffered hard on behalf of the greater good and the global population. To see so many of you gathered here today is a proud and emotional moment, which should make these World University Games a truly festive occasion, especially after the cancellation of Lucerne 2021. In this respect, we must also acknowledge the very real challenges and hardships endured and overcome by our host communities over recent weeks and months. We know that many present here today have been affected by the heavy storms that struck New York State towards the end of last year. Let us remember not only the victims of this natural disaster, but all those who suffer and became victims of senseless wars as well. At FISU, we know sport can never truly be dissociated from wider global society. Which is why I am so glad and encouraged to see the world students athletes come together in a spirit of peaceful endeavor and competition in the coming 11 days. I wish you all good luck and success. <clears throat> A 
On that note, let me conclude and invite Governor Hockhol to declare open this historical FISU World University Winter Games like Placid. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to New York. I'm Governor Kathy Hochul. I could not be prouder to host all of you in this most beautiful part of our state. Proud that New York State is the only state in America that has hosted the World University Games, not once, not twice, but three times tonight is certainly a charm. We welcome you with hearts full of love, and I thank the incredible team that had the vision to say that, yes, in 2023, we'd welcome the world. Jim McKenna, President of the Organizing Committee, you had the faith, you believed, and you made it happen. Jim, thank you. Leon Eater, I want to thank you for the work that you have done leading this organization through good times and challenging times, having games canceled because of the pandemic and all the stresses that you've had to endure. We are so proud to call you an honorary New Yorker. Welcome to New York as well. Tonight, we saw on display the world before our very eyes. Athletes, students, excelling, ready to be competitors. But I can tell you, 10 days from now, as these ceremonies conclude, they will no longer leave as competitors, representing individual countries. They will be leaving as friends, lifelong friends, who now represent the elite of the elite, the global athletes who achieved the highest pinnacle of success, but also have the character and the guts and determination to compete in this venue. And this venue is a place of magic. For in 1980, those of you watched and witnessed the miracle on ice, it happened right here. So to our athletes, I welcome you. And let this place be a miracle for all of you. Let this be a place that you begin memories that you'll cherish for the rest of your lives. And with that, I say, let the 2023 World University Games begin. Thank you. Please rise for the International University Sports Federation Anthem.
Move on to the all important athletes and officials' oaths. Please welcome Middlebury College student and United States figure skater Ting Shuang and Lake Placid resident and official for Biathlon Dan Nardiello to take the oath on behalf of the athletes and officials. On behalf of the student athletes, I promise that we shall take part in the FISU World University Games, respecting and abiding by the rules which govern it, committing ourselves to a sport without doping and without drugs in the true spirit of sportsmanship, fair play, for the glory, for the honor of our teams, and for the achievement of international university sport movement. In the name of all the technical officials, I promise that we shall, uh, yes, we shall. Of lines to remember. We shall officiate these FISU World University Games with complete impartiality, respecting the rules that govern it in the spirit of competition. The beautiful Lake Placid 2023 torch and cauldron radiate light from clean, renewable energy generated from naturally flowing water, wind, and solar power from the mountains into your home and onto the slopes. We can eliminate carbon from our atmosphere and power our lives. Together, we can save winter. Ballet School, and that is Sarah Sporich, professional aerialist and acrobat, representing the Winter Goddess. Building the atmosphere to the arrival of the Games Torch. a two-time Olympian in Nordic Combined and is bringing history back to Lake Placid. He was the final torchbearer to light the cauldron during the 1972 FISU World University Games here in Lake Placid. Bill McKibben is an environmentalist, author, journalist, and distinguished scholar. He has written extensively on the impact of global warming. He is the keynote speaker for the Save the Winter Conference and is passionate about protecting and enjoying the sacred land of the Adirondacks. Andrew Weibrecht, Lake Placid native, grew up training at Whiteface Mountain and is a 2010 Olympic bronze medalist and a 2014 Olympic silver medalist in alpine skiing. He is joined by his two daughters, Adelina and Celia. Mark 
Grimet is a Lake Placid resident and a five-time Olympian for U.S. Luge, winning both silver and bronze. He currently coaches U.S. Luge and is joined by two of his children, Anna and Rory. Billy DeMond grew up jumping here at the Olympic Jumping Complex and skiing at Mount Van Hovenberg. He competed in five consecutive Olympic Games and in Vancouver 2010, earned the first ever U.S. Nordic Combined Gold Medal. Art Lucy was born and raised in the Olympic region, was an Alpine captain at Dartmouth College, 1987 FISU World University Games competitor, and an Adirondack Park commissioner. He is joined by one of his three children, Nina Lucy, Lake Placid native, four-time U.S. national ski jumping champion, gender equality advocate, and University of Utah graduate. Please show your support as Art and Nina continue their journey outside and up Main Street to light the cauldron in the heart of Lake Placid. serious message attached to this uh, talk ceremony because just like many alpine resorts in Europe, Lake Placid here in North America is having a, a warm winter, well by their standards anyway, <laughs> temperatures are forecast to be around zero degrees for the start of these games and you'd normally expect it to be near a minus 15, so environment very much in people's minds here. So the opening ceremony is building to a climax now with a number of, we've got some really lovely creative pieces coming up. This first one is called Gathering in the Light. It's performed by the American Ice Theatre. By the way, when we go to a wide shot, keep an eye out for the ice dancing cameraman. What really brings this to life.
Loving their work, the American Ice Theatre, an organization that helps young people across the US develop themselves through ice skating. Two skaters for this second sequence are Angela Kim and Pavel Velchuski. In what they describe as a celebration of the power of athletes of the games and of coming together. They'll be doing some extraordinary acrobatics. Angela Kim and Pavel Wilczewski. The former figure skater turned cameraman Jordan Cohen. Bringing that dance alive. Final artistic piece now. And this celebrates winter with the message that winter is worth saving from global warming. And the winter goddess, here she is again. Back on the ice, Sarah Sporich in the hoop.
We've seen some terrific performances on the ice already tonight. I can't wait to see the sporting performances once the figure skating, the short track speed skating, the ice hockey gets underway here. makes its way down Main Street to the cauldron. Huge support for these games from the locals of Lake Placid. And Art and Nina are going to go and light the Eco Torch, powered by sustainable energy. There it is. Fossil fuels burned here. There it is. The cauldron is lit. The games are underway. So the opening ceremony is done. Time for the sport to begin. We have 10 days of thrilling action to come. 12 sports, over 1,400 athletes across nine iconic venues. And they really are. Keep an eye out for the ski jumping venue, surrounded by forest. And the outdoor speed skating with its amazing high school backdrop. It's awesome. Dreams will be made over the coming days. So wherever you're watching around the world, make sure you don't miss a thing. I'll leave you with a final dance from me, Alec Wilkinson. Goodbye. Best of luck to the athletes of the Lake Placid 2023 Visu World University Games. Thank you for joining us this evening, and good night, everyone.